The world has seen technological revolutions before, but few have arrived with the quiet, seismic force of Maxwell Chikambuzo's self-powered car. Elon Musk, the maverick billionaire who reshaped electric vehicles and space travel, has now thrown his weight behind a Zimbabwean inventor's audacious claim. A car that runs indefinitely without fuel, charging, or batteries. This isn't just another incremental improvement in transportation. It's a fundamental rewrite of the rules, a challenge to the very foundations of energy, industry, and physics. If Chikumbutso's invention proves viable, it won't merely disrupt the auto industry. It will unravel the economic, geopolitical, and environmental frameworks that have defined the modern world. The implications are so vast that they border on science fiction. Oil empires collapsing, energy grids becoming obsolete, and remote villages gaining mobility without infrastructure. Yet, for all its promise, the technology faces fierce resistance. From scientists questioning its feasibility, corporations fearing obsolescence, and governments scrambling to control its impact. This is the story of an invention that could either herald a new age of abundance or become another footnote in the history of unrealized breakthroughs. The car exists, at least in prototype form, and those who have witnessed it describe a machine that defies conventional logic. Unlike electric vehicles, which rely on charging stations and finite battery life, Chikumbutso's creation draws energy from an undisclosed electromagnetic conversion system, harvesting power from its surroundings in real time. No plugs, no pumps, no emissions, just silent, perpetual motion. Elon Musk's public endorsement has lent the project unprecedented credibility, forcing even the most skeptical scientists to take notice. Mainstream physics has long dismissed self-sustaining energy systems as violations of thermodynamic laws, yet here is a working model that appears to do just that. Automakers, caught between disbelief and panic, are quietly scrambling to assess whether this technology could make their entire R&D pipelines obsolete. Tesla's supercharger network, GM's battery factories, and Volkswagen's electric fleets all suddenly face existential uncertainty. The oil industry, still reeling from the rise of renewables, now confronts an even deadlier threat, a vehicle that needs no fuel at all. Saudi Arabia, Russia, and other petrostates, whose economies hinge on crude exports, could see their influence evaporate overnight. Meanwhile, utility companies, both fossil and renewable, are bracing for a future where households and vehicles no longer depend on centralized power grids. The ripple effects extend beyond energy and transportation into geopolitics, with energy-independent nations gaining unprecedented leverage. Zimbabwe, a nation more often associated with economic struggle than cutting-edge innovation, suddenly finds itself at the center of a global technological revolution. Chikambuzo's rise challenges the entrenched narrative that breakthrough inventions only come from Silicon Valley, Europe, or East Asia. Across Africa, young engineers and entrepreneurs are watching, realizing that they too could be the next disruptors in a world hungry for solutions. But for every optimist, there are skeptics, physicists who insist the car must be a hoax, or at best, an overhyped prototype with hidden limitations. Corporate lobbyists from the auto and oil sectors are already pressuring regulators to slow adoption, citing unproven safety and environmental risks. Patent wars loom on the horizon, with tech giants and governments alike vying for control of what could be the 21st century's most valuable intellectual property. Ethical dilemmas also emerge. If this technology is weaponized, militaries could deploy drones and vehicles with unlimited operational range, reshaping warfare. And then there's the question of access. Will this invention uplift the global poor, or will it become another luxury monopolized by the wealthy? The answers to these questions will determine whether Chikambuzo's car becomes a force for liberation or a new axis of inequality. If the self-powered car scales beyond prototypes, its impact will stretch far beyond the roads. Imagine a rural farmer in Kenya transporting goods to market without ever buying fuel, or a doctor in the Amazon operating a mobile clinic with no need for generators. Disaster zones where fuel shortages cripple relief efforts could be served by convoys that never refuel, delivering aid indefinitely. Urban landscapes would transform as gas stations vanish, replaced by nothing at all freeing up land for housing, parks, or renewable energy farms. The shipping and aviation industries, still dependent on fossil fuels, 
would face irresistible pressure to adopt self-powering systems or risk extinction. Airlines could slash ticket prices by eliminating fuel costs, while cargo ships might cross oceans, without a single stop for refueling. The environmental benefits would be staggering. Transportation accounts for nearly a quarter of global CO2 emissions, and this technology could zero them out. Lithium and cobalt mines, often criticized for ecological and human rights abuses, would see demand plummet as battery-dependent EVs fade into obsolescence. Yet the upheaval wouldn't stop there. Energy markets would convulse as households adopt decentralized power systems based on the same principles. Why pay an electric bill when your home could generate its own endless supply? Governments, accustomed to taxing gasoline and regulating utilities, would need entirely new economic models to replace lost revenue. Oil-dependent nations, unprepared for such a rapid transition, might face economic collapse, triggering global instability. In response, we could see a new era of energy sovereignty, where individuals and communities control their own power, untethered from corporations or grids. The cultural shift would be equally profound. A generation raised on self-powered tech might view fossil fuels the way we view steam engines, quaint relics of a bygone era. Universities would overhaul their physics and engineering curricula to explore the new science behind these systems, sparking a renaissance in electromagnetic research. But the path forward won't be smooth. Those who profit from the status quo will fight tooth and nail to delay or distort this transition. Legal battles over patents, trade secrets, and regulatory approvals could slow adoption for years, if not decades. Misinformation campaigns might label the technology as unsafe and proven, or even a threat to national security. And if the tech remains prohibitively expensive, it could deepen global divides, creating a world where only the rich enjoy energy independence. Yet history suggests that true breakthroughs, once unleashed, cannot be suppressed. Think of the internet, the printing press, or the steam engine. Chikambutso's car may follow the same arc. Dismissed at first, resisted fiercely, then adopted so universally that we forget how the world worked before it. The question isn't whether this invention will change the world, but how quickly and who will control its destiny. One thing is certain, the age of energy scarcity is ending, and Maxwell Chikambutso just wrote its first obituary. The world has barely begun to process the implications of Maxwell Chikambutso's invention, but the deeper you look, the more questions emerge. Behind the headlines about energy revolutions and industry disruptions lies a complex web of scientific mysteries, ethical dilemmas, and human stories that could define the next century. This is not just a story about a car. It's about the invisible forces that will determine whether this technology liberates humanity or becomes another tool of control. The physics community remains deeply divided, with some calling it the greatest breakthrough since electromagnetism and others dismissing it as a violation of fundamental laws. What if both sides are partially right? What if Chikambutso has discovered not perpetual motion, but an entirely new way of harvesting ambient energy that science hasn't yet formalized? The secrecy surrounding the exact mechanics fuels both hope and skepticism, leaving room for everything from paradigm-shifting genius to elaborate deception. History is littered with inventions that seemed impossible until they weren't. Radio, flight, even the internet faced early ridicule before changing everything. But history is also full of hoaxes, exaggerations, and well-intentioned failures that never delivered on their promises. The difference this time is Elon Musk's involvement, a man who rarely stakes his reputation on ideas he hasn't vetted intensely. Yet even Musk has been wrong before, and his endorsement doesn't guarantee the technology will scale beyond a lab prototype. The geopolitical chessboard is already shifting in anticipation, with world leaders quietly strategizing how to either harness or suppress this innovation. China, long dominant in rare earth metals for batteries, might pivot to control whatever materials this new system requires. The US and Europe, caught between climate goals and corporate interests, could either accelerate adoption or bow to lobbying from oil and auto giants. Africa, often sidelined in global tech narratives, now holds a card that could redefine its role from resource supplier to innovation leader. But technology alone doesn't guarantee power. Without strategic patents, manufacturing capacity, and diplomatic leverage, the global South could see its breakthroughs co-opted yet again. The environmental promises are tantalizing, 
zero emissions, no mining for lithium or cobalt, and an end to oil spills and pipeline disasters. But what if the energy conversion process has hidden ecological costs, like unanticipated radiation or electromagnetic interference? Early adopters might become unintended test subjects, just as asbestos and leaded gasoline were once hailed as miracles before their dangers emerged. The social implications are equally fraught. Imagine a world where your car never needs fuel, but the software controlling it requires proprietary subscriptions or surveillance. Could self-powered become another vector for corporate control, where freedom from oil is replaced by dependence on tech monopolies? The military potential is already drawing interest. Drones that never land, tanks that never refuel, and naval ships with unlimited range could redefine warfare. Autonomous weapons powered indefinitely by this system might make wars longer, not shorter, with machines fighting long after humans would have run out of resources. Then there's the economic earthquake. Entire industries, mechanic shops, gas stations, oil rigs, could vanish overnight, leaving millions jobless without a plan for transition. The 2008 financial crisis showed how quickly collapsing industries can destabilize societies. What happens when entire sectors face extinction simultaneously? Investors are already gambling billions on startups claiming to replicate or improve Chikumbutso's work, creating a speculative bubble that could burst spectacularly. Some of these ventures are legit, others are scams, and most are somewhere in between. The dot-com boom and crypto crashes offer cautionary templates. Even if the technology works perfectly, human nature might corrupt its promise. Energy abundance could trigger overconsumption, not sustainability. Jevons Paradox warns that efficiency gains often increase resource use overall. Cheaper energy might accelerate deforestation, mining, and sprawl, not prevent it. The cultural dimension is just as pivotal. Chikambutso's story proves innovation isn't confined to wealthy nations, but systemic biases still favor Western inventors. Will he receive the recognition he deserves, or will history attribute his work to Musk or other powerful intermediaries who amplify it? The patent files hint at battles to come. Over 200 claims detail everything from energy conversion ratios to anti-reverse engineering safeguards. Legal scholars predict decade-long court fights over whether these patents can even be enforced globally, or if nations will ignore them in the name of public good. Religious and philosophical movements are already interpreting the invention through their lenses. Some call it divine providence, others a step toward transhumanism. Ethicists warn that without guardrails, self-powering tech could widen inequality. Elites might hoard it, using infinite energy to build fortresses while others struggle. The psychological impact is profound. Humans have lived with energy scarcity for millennia. How will we adapt to a world where it's suddenly limitless? History's greatest inventions didn't just change what we could do, they changed how we think, and this one might redefine humanity's relationship with the planet itself. The truth is, no one knows where this leads. Not Chikambutso, not Musk, not the physicists or politicians. That uncertainty is why this story matters, because the future isn't written yet, and for once, it might be written by someone no one expected.